behavior that just up the decibel. Mm -hmm. Yes, I don't have any problem with that. I just hold on, let me. My daughter is here now. Um, yes. Father, how would you like us to have an important discussion? Um, okay, uh, see, let me call you back later. Sit here, my daughter. Thank you, Father. What would this be? Who is this that's doing this? Come on, spill it. Spit it out. Let me hear you. That which troubles me is in your jurisdiction to end. My jurisdiction? Lies within my power. No. I'm more worried about who is doing this to you. Spirit or human, who is that person? I know what to do to the person. I will tear everything around you. Disturbing you, I will tear it down. What is happening? Who is the person? I will deal with the person. Come on. It's you, Father. Me? How? <clears throat> Father, I, I just want to beg you to listen to me. Talk, I'm here. You know I'm your good daughter. I've always been. You are proud of me and I know. Oh. But this one thing that I'm asking of you, I beg of you to grant. Father, You are forcing me to love Fred. And I don't see myself ever loving him again. I am begging you for the sake of my late mother to please allow me to make this lifetime decision for myself. Father, don't allow me to make mistakes. Mistakes that would destroy me. Mistakes that would destroy your only child. The only one your late wife birthed for you. Kaima. Kaima. The theatrics. The tricks are too much. Yeah, but you see, sit down first. Sit, 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 sit. We're going to discuss this issue. Come on, hold this. Hold it. Kaima. I'm a man of integrity and there is nothing I can do about this now. King Zago. The icon of his time. The king of kings.
the one whose integrity matters to him most, even more than the life of his only child. What? King Mbago. The father of my youth. The one that raised me. The one that has and is still squeezing me so hard to life. You talked about this hotel. And I ask you, Father. I ask you, a king whose integrity reigns amongst all the socialists that if I ever died as infant would Fred have remained single for the rest of his life just because I am not there to wife him. See, 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 Kaima. This is different. Hmm. This is different. I'm telling you about a family knot that was tied. It's deep. Something that can never be undone. I'm not even sure that any human can undo it. So, I mean, you just have to learn to love him. That will be over my dead body. That I, Princess Kaima, the daughter of King Uba, the one of this kingdom, will learn to love Fred. I can never even learn to love that monster. My soul, my heart, my body belong to someone else. And you must have to accept. I think there is something more between Princess Kaima and Lotana at the synagogue. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Hi! Would you? Hmm? What do you mean? <laughs> As I was doing my personal chores, so I overheard the king scolding the princess for treating Fred badly. And my instinct is telling me that she's connected to Lotana. Would you? Hmm? Would you? Uju, hmm? how many times did I call you? Three Mind times. what you say with this your mouth. Be careful of what comes out from this your mouth. Wait, <laughs> see, as the king was even scolding her, she walked out of the king, which is a mark of this honor. She even said in her words, my heart belongs to somebody else. <laughs> you may be right too. You may be right. I am right this time around. I saw her the other day professing love to Lotana at the entrance of her room. Eh? Eh? Who? Lotana. Ordinary? Lotana. It's no longer ordinary again, no. <laughs> no longer ordinary. He! And what was his response? <laughs> he was happy. Who won't be happy to be loved by the pride of Umunoha? Even you two, you'll be happy. Hey. hey! You see? You see what I told you the other day? Mm. I told you that guy, Lutana, is playing his game perfectly well. Bam. But you didn't believe me. I, You're saying it now. I believe you. Hmm. I believe you now. After you said all those things, I started doing my research. Ah! And I saw everything myself. I, I don't even you. know where you belong. <laughs> eh? I am everywhere like MTN. Everywhere you go. <laughs> Hey! Hey! Lutana, don't say I told you anything. No. I did not say anything, please. Yeah? Well, that shall never end. Honorable Senator of the Federal Republic. My king, good afternoon. Oh, thank you. Thank you, my senator. So, 
How is the house? Yes, the house is in order. I'm calling to let you know there's a vacancy in the Ministry of Petroleum Resources. Well, my king, I'll be giving two slots, and I'm apportioning one slot to your daughter, my wife to be, Princess Kaima. That's why I call you Senator of the People, Senator of the Federal Republic. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, uh, what are the prerequisites? <laughs> My king, there is no prerequisite. I am the prerequisite, and um, there's no CV, there's no certificate. But if she has any of these, you can present them for parenting's sake. That's all. This is Nigeria. <laughs> This can only come from a senator. A senator. I thank you very much. Oh, Chubukaima will be delighted to hear this. Thank you very much. Well, my king, you are welcome. Thank you. All right. Bye. Ah. Hmm. But princess, you are supposed to order him, not begging him. Most times you have to apply diplomacy in order to win a war. You must not be confrontational. Well, I am not here for you to lecture on morality. I'm here so we can settle our differences. The difference here is that you, Mr. Fred, is dogged by what you want, not what you need. <sighs> See? <sighs> Princess, uh... Without mixing words, you know that I love you so much. And I want you to marry me. I'm so sorry I wasn't there when you needed me the most. I'm sorry about that, but please. Give me this one last chance and I will never mess it up. The truth is that the vacuum has been filled by another when you left. And you don't expect me to walk him out of my life just like that, do you? Uh, he, he's a nobody, right? He doesn't count. I, 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 I love you so much, you know how far we've gone. I'm the son of a, a serving senator. You don't need a nobody. Princess. Princess! What an insolence. This is the height of disrespect. Me, Fred, the son of Senator Wachuku. Ah, Igwe must hear this. Nah. Igwe must hear this. Igwe! Huh. Agaba, do you know there's a lot of things happening in this palace that we cannot remove our eyes from them? Well, what are you talking about? We are about to witness the biggest wrestling festival of love in this palace. Ah, seriously? Yes, now. Between who? Between Fred and Lotana. Yeah. Fred and Lotana. Mm -hmm. What happened? What's the problem? Now, listen. The other day, the princess and Lotana were together. Okay. And all of a sudden, Fred walked in and told Lotana to leave. For what? Uh -huh. Why will you tell Lutana to leave? Is it because Lutana is just an ordinary guard like you? You see the problem? That's the problem we're facing here. Now, trust Lutana now. The Odogu with us, hmm? the Buruburu one, he refused to leave. Good. He stood his ground and he said no, until the princess decided to beg him to leave. I trust Lutana. Lutana is not, is not a coward like Chihuahua. No, no, no. He's a very brave man. That's how we roll. But, uh, you, you know the way we're doing this thing? Yeah. So nobody should come and uh, 
Aynen. Each time you cross, I know there is trouble. Yes, there is trouble. The whole of trouble, Your Highness. I was with uh, Princess Kaima. I knelt down, I begged her. I wailed. But it's that she walked out of me. She told me someone else won her heart. I, I didn't understand this, Your Highness. That's not true. She was only pulling your nails. From all indication, Your Highness, she's very, very serious. She told me herself, someone else won her heart. Yes. That's a big fallacy. I know my daughter. No one comes here to see her. No one. Well, I'm sorry I have to shout it, but Fred, no one comes here to see my daughter. All right, Your Highness, uh, if you're insinuating that I am accusing her wrongly, then why don't you send for her? At least for fair hearing. All right. All right. I'll go up and bring her down myself. Fair enough? Yes, yes, yes. Fair enough. Fair enough. Excuse me. Anything that blocks your way, rush it! Did I communicate? Yes, Your Highness. Oh, 
No, no. The truth that he needs to run for safety. The head of the vigilante and the boy are coming after him. He's telling him to run. Okay, he's just coming in, running in like someone who is just like someone who is mad. What is it? Just, just be careful. What for? What has he done? Run! 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 What has he done? What has he done? Oh, Chimo, what has he done? What has he done? What has he done today? Where did he apply him? Huh? Tell your son that he can run, but he can never hide from me. Okay. Because I must surely get him. Hey, Bria, shut what? up! Shut, shut your mouth! Shut, shut your mouth! We're coming back for you! Where is Lotanna? Your Highness, he's nowhere to be found. And you're looking me in the face to tell me that. Instead of telling me what you're doing to get him. Igwe, his mother paved way for his escape. What? Yes, and I punched her. She fainted. Oh! So, you punched her on the face and she fainted? I see. See your face. You should be ashamed of yourself. You punched an old woman old enough to be your mother. And you're gloating. Where is your intelligence? Igwe, I'm sorry. But you gave an instruction. You said we should crush whatever that come on our way in getting Lotana. And I acted based on your instruction, Igwe. Okay. So you're indicting me. Is that so? No, Your Highness. Now, before I open my eyes, all of you have disappeared from my sight. Walk. I want Lotana. Move it! Why you're calling me like this? Hope all is well. All is not well, Zoba. What is it? Is first still disturbing you? That is very little compared to what I am about to face. Zoba, I am in total mess right now. In very big trouble. I don't know what to do. Please, will you advise me? Advise you on what? You have, I haven't said anything yet. What am I advising you on? I was caught on bed with him. With who? Lotana. What? That's so stupid of you. How could you be that careless not to know that even if you must do something with that guy, you should be outside the palace. Now, now you've soaked yourself in a mess. Zopa, please will you stop? I did not call you for you to apportion blames. The deed has been done. Listen. Tell me what to do. I know you can actually do something. I am confused. My princess, how, do, how, how can I help you when the loophole is so, is, so, is, is so obvious? How can I help you? Soba, will you stop? Think of something. That's the reason I called, not for you to blame me. Ha, ah, Princess Kamai, you see this one? I know do and wear. I'm not going to lie to you. You know do and wear. You know what? First thing tomorrow morning, I'll come to the palace and see you. For, for now, I want to go and pick up uh, material from a client like that. You know, all these big men, uh, wife. Let me just go and pick it up. Tomorrow morning, I will come and see you, okay? I cannot come now. I will come later. Tomorrow morning, first thing tomorrow, I will come and see you, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you.
You have to meet him at his quiet time. I apologize. And while you do that, ensure that your gesture portrays remorse. That's all. So, uh, yes. it's going to be difficult. I cannot stand his presence. The sight of him scares the hell out of me. The shame of what I did has covered me up. You don't cover it yourself. How, Zoba? How? He's still your father. He's your father. Just go to him and apologize. Okay? His reaction will then tell if there is any need for any other decision. Just try. Just try. Okay? Zoba, you know my father. Fine, I will try. Good. I have to get going now. Why so early? I want to go to the shop. I guess I'm not around. I have some things to fix for a customer. Please. Okay, no problems. I'll call you if there is need to. It's okay. Just try. Are you aware that there is something happening between my daughter and Lutanda? Answer me! Yes, Your Majesty. Yes, Your Majesty. Another word. Prodigals. Do you remember the prodigal? Do you remember the parable of the prodigal son in the Bible? He was forgiven, Father, and even given a better opportunity. Not an actual event, not a real occurrence. 
Roma. Time are you disgraced me. Time and time again. Time are, what's the matter with you? Time are you did the unimaginable. You rejected threat. I know that you were having an affair with that, that nonentity, that, that gold digger. Oh. Father, Lutana is not a gold digger. You need to know him beyond being a fisherman and the palace godfather. There is something about him. Something about him that is special and unique. And you need to know that, Father. Now oh, you listen to me. Kaima, you must reconcile with Fred. See, I'm not going to tell him what happened. Right? No one even needs to know what happened except to tell the person. Father, you need to know that I have no issues with Fred. But I cannot see myself spend the rest of my life with him. The sight of that man disgusts and irritates me. Do not push me into this, Father. I am begging you. You have been bewitched. Utterly bewitched by that gold digger. Lutana did not bewitch me, Father. Something inside of him did. Father, please, forgive Lutana. Allow him back to the palace. What? I thought you were going to come here. Sounding remorseful. Now you are asking something that's impossible. No, father. There is nothing impossible for the king, for my father. You can make it possible if you want to, father. Please. Leave my presence. Get out of my sight! What is it? Can you just tell me what happened? Can you not tell me what happened? Mom, please. I need to be left alone. I need space to put myself together. Son, I am your mother. You are my son. Whatever it is, feel free to tell me whatever secret it is. Feel free to tell me. I will sell it. I will tell you when the time is right. For now, I need space, please. Let me be. Okay. Did you fight? Did you argue with anyone? Why are you here? Why did you come back? Mama, Ewe Jelumba, Anatago. Simple. Don't worry, when the time is right, I will tell you. For now, please, just leave me.
Sounded so urgent. I hope all is well. Eh, Fred. <laughs> all is well. Don't worry, Fred. Man, it's uh, um, the proposal you dropped with us concerning the ultra modern modern market, huh? My cabinet and I, we have George, George, we have read, we have gone through thoroughly. We've discussed and we think that, yes, you can now start. Igwe, I'm, I'm sorry. I had a change of mind. I'm no longer interested. What? No, no. That's not fair. I'm sure you don't want to ridic put me to ridicule before before the community and and my chiefs. Eh? It's not my fault, Igwe. It's not my fault. So it's my fault. No, Igwe. I never said so. Igwe, uh, I was emotionally traumatized. And the cause was because of Princess Kaima. I told my father to give your daughter a slot out of the two slots from the Ministry of Petroleum. What did I get in return? Rejection. 
I'm sorry, Your Highness, I had to change my mind. Fred. Fred. And where do Louis we balonwa? Anger. Anger does not fetch us anything meaningful. Hmm? Yes. See, see, uh, 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 a chicken, a uh, hen, gathers its food from left, from right, and all around heaps food. And then, in a fit of an anger, begins to scatter. Fiam, 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 fiam. Fred. Will it go hungry? Yeah, come on. I know where your anger is coming from. I know where your grief is coming from. Fred, Kaima is my daughter, and I know how to handle her. I assure you that. <laughs> Ujumwa, my princess, you are the most trusted maiden in this palace. Can I trust you? Yes, my princess. Have you ever loved? Have you ever loved someone so much before? Like, have you fell in love before? Yeah. No, 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 my friend. I am asking something. Have, would you want to listen? Okay. Have you ever loved someone so much? that you cannot do without him. Have you ever loved someone so much that... Your Majesty. Would you? Your Majesty. Get out. Why have you chosen to disgrace me? I don't understand. How do you mean, Father? Kaima, what has Fred not done for you? Listen, Kim, Kaima. Fred will take very good care of you if he marries you. The question should be, what has Fred not done for me? Um, if Fred marries me, Father, he will not and cannot take good care of me. The accident error confirmed it. Asege. Okutu ba asege. At the insistence of Fred, his father gave you appointment with the Federal Ministry of uh, Petroleum Resources. Fred himself has come into this community now to give us an ultra-modern market. What is it that he hasn't done for us? We're all beneficiaries of that. that my father is selling me off 
for the good of the community. From inception, Father, my life, my entire existence, have been tied to either tradition or affluence. But that must stop. Henceforth, whatever it is that does not matter to me will not ruin my happiness. Grandma, don't be ridiculous. Come on, Father. Come on. I am hell-bent on my decision. Now listen, Fred will marry you. I will marry Lutana. Pregnant for who? Lutana. Father of my youth. A king that raised me even without my mother. The toughest of them all as a king. I am begging you. I am begging you to accept Lutanda. Accept him as your own. And give us your blessings and support. That is not too much of me to ask. I Are my ears failing me or? Am I hearing correctly? Am I? Am I? Hey, 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 see, see. You must get rid of that thing there. Get rid of it. Get rid of it immediately. Take it off. I bought it now. Father, it's my child. Your grandchild, Father. A 
child of a woman. The only woman I've ever loved. That is who you refer to as a thing. It is not fair, Father. You will not tell me what is fair, whether it is fair, whether it's not fair to call what you have there as a thing because that's what it is. So I bought it. Take it off. That will be over my dead body. That I have bought the child of the only man who gave me life when the doctors failed. The one God used to save me. I will never do that. But if you do not want to accept this child, this child that I am carrying, as your grandchild. If you do not want to accept Lutana as my husband to be, I will have no option than to leave this palace in search of him. Listen, and you listen if you leave this place in search of that riffraff or any other person for that matter. If you walk out of this place, I will disown you. I will cease to be your father. So be it, father. It's your choice to cut all ties with your only child. It is your decision to make that you have done. Iwako. Iwako. I want you to ensure that Kaima does not for any reason leave this palace. Yes, Your Highness. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Your Highness. So you need to hurry and tell me the reason you sent for me because I need to hurry back to the palace. I sneaked out. Well, um, thank you for a job well done. 
I called the house to appreciate you with the talking. Have it. No, 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 sir. Oh. Sir, I didn't do what I did because of the financial assistance I would get from you. No, I did it because I know how much you love the princess and I want the two of you to be happy. Yeah, even like that, are you trying to reject my token of appreciation? I am sorry, sir, but everybody must not live for the money. I did what I did because I know I need to do it. I'm sorry, sir, I need to go back to the palace. What shall we do? Rock and rock crying Because it's in search and flow How dare she reject my token of appreciation? This maid must be mad. Very, very mad. Where have you been? The king has been looking for you. I stepped out to buy something. Hope everything is fine. Look, there will be very big problem. The king has given instruction never to allow Princess Kama leave the palace. Eh? He's about to do the wow. How do we intend to do that? I don't know. We have to be careful. And next time, please, if you want to go out, make sure you tell me. I don't want this kind of problem again, please. Have a fun. Because whom God has chosen cannot be forgotten. Whom God has placed from whom can never be stopped. Princess, she's not in her room and she's nowhere to be found. Princess? Yes. Don't Let me go and check. Please go and check. You don't see her at all. Wake up, wake up. What's going on? Princess, she's not in her room and she's nowhere to be found. Hey, what's going on? Hello, everybody. Who is calling all of us? The king is calling us, come. Hey. Everybody, go. Let's go. Let's go. What is the primary duty of 
guards in the palace. Your Highness, to protect the king and his entire household. And the maidens? Your Highness, to take care of the chores in the palace and also to be with the princess always. That's correct. You both have answered very well. Now you tell me this. Who edited Kaima's escape from the palace? Your Majesty, last night I personally locked the gate and gave the key to Chihuahua. You gave who? Chihuahua. When did you give me the key? Chihuahua. When did you give me the key? He gave you the key when he was about using the confidence. That's true. He did. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's true. Then who took the key from me? Who finally took the key from me? I see. You will say where you kept the key in hell. Chihuahua. Hey! Why are you so careless? Chihuahua. Why are you so careless? Come on! Where is it? Next time you do your duties! That was what happened. So I left to spend the night with Chizoba. I wanted to spend more time with her there. But she's scared of what my father would do to her if he finds out that I'm squatting with her. Lotana. I am pregnant with your child. I am carrying your baby. My father wanted me to abort this baby. But that is not what I want for myself. He also threatened to disown me if I go looking for you. I don't know. You can move in here with me. Just that you have to lower your standard. No electricity here. No air condition. No bottle water. No maid to serve you. And no car to take you around. So if you are ready to lower your standard, we are together. Those are not my problems. If you can stay here and still be okay, I can manage. <laughs> Father, that's how it happened. Well, son, I'm disappointed in the attitude of my friend, Kimbago, towards all this development. I really don't know what has come over him. Father, I've never been humiliated like this before. I felt so embarrassed. That's my reason for cutting all projects. I mean, they can use us and dump us. They can use us and dump us. It's not possible. Well, um, in any case, I'll wait for his call. But if he doesn't call, I will call him and tell him my peace of mind. Good, good father, because I know what he can do. 
<laughs> well, son, yeah. you know what I can do. Yes, good. But, uh, son, sincerely speaking, I will tell you something. I've been worried all these days about your attitude and your lifestyle. You're longer growing uh, younger. You're getting old every blessed day. We are still single. I don't know. Father, I step at a time. Okay? I just want to take my time. I want to be sure that there's nothing between I and Princess Kaima anymore. Well, if you say so, no problem. But uh, just mind your time. But remember one thing that it's written time, saves nine. Yes, Father. <laughs> Take a drink. <laughs> Thank you. To do this, Mama, even in your condition, Mama, will you stop? It's not like I am sick or something. I am just pregnant. Bam, 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 Mama, bam. that's every woman's dream. Will you stop? Hi. Nothing is wrong with me. That the fact that I am pregnant does not mean I shouldn't do house chores. Stop worrying yourself, Mama. And at the end of the day, I, I've always wanted to live this life. Please. And it's here in my presence, so let me leave it, Mama. Please, I don't want anything to happen to you. Mama. It's okay, no problem. Since you insisted, be fast about it so that I can take you back to the king. Yes. Mama, you're wasting your time. You don't know my father. He's a very stubborn man. Uh, good morning. Uh, hello. Good morning. Hey, Papago? Yes, sir. Hey, hey. Oh, okay. All right. Good morning. Go, go well, my son. Fine. Please, when you get there, make sure you catch a big one. You sure. get one hour this time. Sure. <laughs> okay. Can I go with you? <clears throat> Not today. Take care. Good luck. Mm. See love. <laughs> ne kwa no love. <laughs> I know you miss him. But he will be back soon. Uh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> So, Mama, as I was saying, what is it? I don't want you to bother yourself about me. My father is a very stubborn man. His words are A and Amen. Nothing on earth can make him change his mind. His beatings are just not good for me, and I'm okay with I'm okay here. But the thing is this. We don't have the luxury to keep you here. Mama, I am not complaining. Have I complained before? I will never complain. It's okay. Come here. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. But about the sweeping, mm. be careful with it. Mama, stop. Do I don't want anything to happen to. Oh, Manu. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's begin continuing with what I was doing before I saw you. Oh, Mama. It's all right. <laughs> all right. Oh. Mama, don't run again. No. All right, I'll take it. Then. <laughs> Princess, 
What do you mean by not anymore? Please, just go there, go and drink. I will call you later. What happened? Where is your car? This is Kaima. You're crying. Talk to me, what happened? I... I left the palace. Okay. I... I no longer stay there. What? Why? What happened? My father found out I am carrying with a last child. Okay. He asked me to abort it. And? Of course I can't do anything like that. So but you know me better than anybody. All I've ever wanted is just to have a peaceful and calm life. But my father has never made that possible. Just, just this was that I asked him to let me be with Lotana. He disowned me. He disowned me, Zoba. He disowned you? <sighs> ah, that's rather pathetic. So, what are your plans now? That's why I'm here. So, please. You know you're my only friend. Because I know. I, I don't know. Stop. Please. My presence. Just stop crying. It's okay. I don't know. I don't know if it's... I... I don't know if it would be too much of me to ask. Go ahead, ask. What is it? So, uh, yes, dear. I've come to beg you so that you can at least teach me what you do. I am begging you, please. Is that what you're begging me? What are friends for? You know I can do anything for you. I can teach you. You want to start today? I just want you to stop crying, okay? Don't forget, you're still my princess. Stop. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you very much. Stop crying. I don't want my guests to notice that you're crying. Tired of this work. I'm thinking of quitting this job. So what will you now do if you quit your job as a palace maid? I don't know. I have option. I'm thinking on the best. Since the princess left, the palace hasn't been the same. And me, I'm thinking on sending my resignation. I think the king will approve of that. Don't ask me what I intend to do for you, because I won't tell you. You know. Better. Thank you. Don't tell her. Only I should. It's all going to kill you. Someone can have something. You want that? The palace is favorable and fun to work at this time. You know? Why? Why do you say so? Can't you see? It's obvious. 
We do let's walk and we eat and we drink. Ooh, yeah. If you're correct. Yeah, that, that's all right. Huh? <laughs> oh, you eat and drink at we. Is that what you call it? Eating and drinking at we. How else do you want me to explain what is happening here? If not this palatable kind of enjoyment? Listen, let me tell you. The palace has lost its form. Is it not obvious that the palace has lost its form? Since that guy took the princess away, the palace is gone over to this. The people are here, marrying and drinking. Ooh, I think I think you're right. It is very obvious that the king has not been happy. Just listen up, eh? Nobody, I mean nobody can change what is happening in the palace at this time. So let us eat, drink, and enjoy ourselves while it lasts. Nobody! <laughs> what you do is eat, drink, <laughs> enjoy yourself while it lasts. Okay, I'm making food. Say, wow, wow, nothing will boom anywhere. Hmm? Enjoy yourself. It's, it's a rash. Rash. It's a wonderful day. Drink. Enjoy. You know, I'm not a drunk guy. You know, like you. Say, wow, wow. Um, I want to assure all of you that as far as I'm concerned, each and every one of you is here on his or her own volition. We are not forcing anybody to remain in service. You are here because you want to be here and because you enjoy being here. And you're out because there is something you want to do outside. Any day you want to call it quits, you are completely free. So right now, if any one of you wishes to call it quits, indicate by raising up your hand. Well, no one of you. That's good. Neka wants to call it quits. She wants to end her service with the royal family. And we must bid her well. Neka, step forward. You have been of service to this royal house. And you will go in peace. Yes, uh, we wish you well, yes, sir. you have seen service and you've seen joy. When you leave, you will also see happiness, you will see joy. Yes, sir. Whatever you put your hands on will prosper. Yes, sir. And your life will be meaningful. Yes, sir. Go in peace. All right. So, do I just All oh, this for me. Yeah, do you like it? I love it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> See, I want to thank you for everything you have been doing for me. Thank you. So tell me, what exactly is going on? Relax. I just want to know you. Who is a Neka? <laughs> just the same way I want to know who is friend. Okay. Um, as you know, my name is Fred. And I'm the only child of uh, the great Mwachuku. You can say I was born with a silver spoon. I lost my mom a long time ago, and each time I remember her, I cry a lot. Oh, so sorry. I'm very sorry. It's okay. I can be best described as a spoiled brat. You know, 
being so egoistic hasn't taken me far in life. So I learned in a hard way. I decided to be humble. You know, I passed through a lot of things with Princess Kaima. And I wouldn't want to make such a mistake again. Well, I don't understand the whole thing. You asked me to resign as a palace maiden and promised to get me a good and recruitive job. So. Yes, you're resigning from the palace is the reason why we're here. This is the purpose. You know, I've decided to do most of the things I didn't do for Princess Kaima. You know, so I decided to take you for shopping, you know. Those are the things my ego didn't allow me to do while dating her. See, I want you by my side every now and then. <laughs> do you really want to marry me? Yes, I want to marry you. I love you. Yeah. See, I'm an orphan. I don't have anybody to speak for me. If you love me the way you, you just told me now, you need to protect me for I don't have any other person to speak for me. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll treat you like a queen you are. All right? bright morning star you requested you know you always told me I'm growing old and all of that of course I promise to oblige to your request her name is Neka Neka meets my father the distinguished senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria senator Nwachiku my own father it's my pleasure sir <laughs> okay. well um, Neka yeah, we come to my home. Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> sir, you see, um, your son here, Fred, has told me a whole lot of beautiful things about you. <laughs> and I must say that you fit everything that he said. <laughs> you see, Fred is my only son. In fact, he's the chief of the old block. Well, uh, he has fallen in love with you. And uh, that choosing you as his bride. But I don't really know my opinion about that. Sir, so, uh, Fred and I are in love with each other. And he has asked me to be his wife, and I've accepted. I love your son so much. Oh, what are we waiting for? Fred? <laughs> I'm so happy with the choice of a woman. Neka, you are welcome to my home. Thank you so much, sir. Well, start making your plans, because I'm in support of that. Well, uh, we're making your plans. Don't forget to put me in view. Thank well, you. Father, just want to thank you especially for supporting me. And of course, looking out for me every now and then. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> so, don't worry. And in my next word, I will choose you as my father. Oh, I will choose you as my own son, too. <laughs> well, thank both you of you so are welcome. Much. Thank you. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Darling, uh, come, come, let me show you okay. where you need to live off <laughs> this house. Thank you, sir. All right, sir. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> All right, sir. Come, 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 come. come. Oh. Was it? Mama, it went well. Can you believe you go? It went well. It's just that they said that the doctor said I should be doing some exercise. Did I really put up some weight? Not that much, ah. but it's suspected. Yes, as a pregnant woman, 
you need to add weight in some places. <laughs> but not much. Okay, but uh, Mama, the doctor even said I can do some exercise to help. Eh? Yes, what are they? Eh, not really hard exercise. Though. Like all these young girls of nowadays who want to become slim. You don't need that time. All you need to do is to walk around the compound. Eh? Gradually, systematically. Oh, you understand? Yes, you don't force it. Then you lose weight. But yeah, I, I prepared something for you to eat. Oh? So my daughter, that is all you have to know about um, various types of fish and their yeah, prices. Mama, mm -hmm. do you lecture is too many? Do you way you lecture me today? It's too plenty. Hey. Hey. But these are the things, little little things you have to know. I've learned them and I am good. grateful. Good, good, good. Thank you, Mama. I need You're to welcome. go now so that I can go to the market and sell them. Who knows? Luck will shine on me. You want to go to the market? Why not? Hey, Bano. How do you want my son to feel? No, 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 no. He will not be happy about this journey that you want to embark on. What if something happened to you? Mama, nothing will happen to me. Huh? It's because Lutana will not let me. That's why I want to do it on my own. Mama, don't you pity for him? I do. Lutana is suffering too much to put food on our table. Instead of sitting down lazy in about, let me get busy. Let me be useful for once. And maybe that's the only way I can support him. It's okay. It's okay. Since you are insisting, you know, I will let you go on one condition. That you come back on time. Mama. Because I don't want my son's problem. Mama, mm -hmm. the good luck that my child carries will enable me to sell it faster. Amen. And even come back before Lutana comes. Amen. 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 Oh, come back on time, please. Oh. Oh. I, I know I, I know my son very well. I don't want to answer question and answer question. Uh -huh. Jump question. Let you come and start asking me question. Why did I allow you to leave?
When I come, she said you work a commot. I go market. Oh, your mama, see him now. I'm a big dog, this fish. Mama, you see, the fish don't finish. Mama, just help you, dog. Yeah, don't try. Mama, not fit bend, though. Yeah, no, we help you. This one are 400. This one are 500. Ah, she was in Nigeria. Tis two days. Oh, mama, how much you want buy? Mama, go for my own. Yeah, give me the two, 500 now. Ah, I beg. I am too fat. Give me a little my head too. Yeah, I don't say don't try. Mama, next yeah. time you know go buy like this. Yeah, no worry. Yeah. If they try, my dear. Mm -hmm. Ah, if they try. Mm -hmm. So they do this thing to help your husband. Mm -hmm. Or say you be princess. Mm -hmm. If they try, do. Thank my you. Tire. Mm -hmm. Mama, I agree that you're fine to kill, eh? Mm -hmm. No problem. I will get them. Thank you, Mama. Let's see you next time. Okay, Mama. Is that your life? Ah, no, for bless they put out. Ah, Mama, these boys they snatch my things say me have. Oh, yeah. They collect them like this. How do you? Mama, see you next time, eh? My dear, why would the princess be hawking buy fish in the market? And she's even happily doing it too. Hmm. Yeah. She's a good woman now. Wife material. Despite the fact that it brings her down as a princess, she's still doing it very happy. Okay, let's leave that one. Madam, slice with you. This one, a wife material. Yeah. 100 years. I wish I can be like her. Let's go. Madam, let me leave. Let's go. Yes, my daughter. Where is the lever? All right, one. All right, one. This is Ghana product. Customer, I'm there. Hello. How are you doing? I want to buy something, so. This is your gallery. 
Okay, you dry where where? How you say? Buy your bucket. How? How much? How much? Yeah. Ah. It's too costly. Maybe 500. I get 500. Which one come with 500? Oh, yeah, give me that one. I don't know what to they call them. Pussy. A pussy. Get something they give me for soup. My husband, they like and wear well. Hello, Igwe. Your Majesty. I just want to be sure that the person I'm seeing in the market is not Princess Kaima. Hmm. May well have been the person you're talking about. Ah. Uh, no! No maid following her, no guard, nothing. No royal beat, no royal attire. And she's here. She's even carrying a tray as if she has just finished walking and buying something. I am seeing her now. And she's heavily pregnant. My daughter feels. She has grown and she can take decisions while well, she has taken her own decision. Yes. She left my house, the palace, without my prompting and against my will. Let her taste the other side of life. Ovidibo. She's no longer my daughter. Don't talk like that, Your Majesty. Please, don't talk. Everybody knows that it's your daughter. Everyone knows that Kaima is your daughter. Please. I do not want to entertain any more calls. Do not call me on this uh, No, uh, Your Majesty. Hello, Igwe. Hello. Hello. Oh, 
There are complications in her pregnancy because she did not go through prenatal care. What is that supposed to mean, Doctor? What are we supposed to do? Well, what it means is that she has to deliver through cesarean operation. What? Yes. Operation? Yes. Sorry, Doctor. Is that the only option? I don't want her to deliver through operation. Operation is the safest thing in this very situation. It is the safest way to deliver under the circumstances. Nothing else is better. Okay, sir. If that is the only way forward, no problem. We can commence with the operation. I just want her to deliver. I just want her to put to bed safely. Uh, well, uh, not so fast. We're going to need the sum of 650,000 naira for the operation to commence. Sorry, sir. How much? 650,000 Naira only. 65,000 or 750,000? Come on, the turn now. <laughs> that is the standard price. Uh, as a matter of fact, it is the, it's the barest minimum. And I'm actually considering your situation. Sir, please, what was the last price? What was the last price for people my age? I just told you the barest minimum. For some other patients, it could be much, much higher than that. 650,000 naira. Yes, it's a cesarean operation. Do you know the standard of this hospital? Okay, 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 okay. okay. Just, um, okay, no problem. If that is the only way forward, you can start the operation while I go and run around for more. No, 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 it does not work that way. You better start running around immediately because without the money, we're not going to commence any operation. The earlier, the better. Don't forget two lives are involved. Mother and our born baby. said she would deliver through CS. Hey! Huh? That I should go and look for 650,000 more. 650,000 more? The earlier the better. Where are we going to get such amount from now? Hey! What? Why didn't you price? Yes. She's a price now like 50,000, 70,000. Don't you know these people and how they bill? Once hey. they pronounce their bill, once they print it, they don't even make amends. I've begged that man, he said no, that I must bring 650,000 naira before they can start operating on her. Uh, uh, the earlier the better. That's what is what's really making me uncomfortable. I think, I think the main thing now is to start looking for how to raise this money. Maybe uh, not anyhow. Can't you call your friends? Even with um, Kaima's father. Let us try, please. Call who? Your friends. Your friends now. Look at me. 
Do I look like someone that has a friend that can raise six hundred and fifty thousand naira under one hour? Do they write it on their face or on their body? Uh, thank you. They, they might have it. They, they won't. They won't show you. They won't make you understand that they have such such amount in, in, in their estate. This is suicidal. We don't see if we have any. The more suicidal if anything ugly should happen to her. Exactly. Please, they just hurry, please. Hey, Mama. Let me go. I was told uh, you wanted to see me. And that is an emergency. Yes, Your Highness. Shoot. Your Highness, it's an emergency. Emergency? Yes, Your Highness. It has to do with life and death. Yes, Your Highness. Um, it's about your daughter, Kaima. As we speak right now, she's in the hospital about to give birth. But the doctor said she can only deliver with tears. And is asking for 600,000 Naira. We are asked to deposit 350,000 before the operation will be carried out. Your Highness, that is why we are here. Is that why both of you are here? Oh, you, are you here for something else? No, Your Highness, it's for the same reason. I want to clarify the situation for the interest of both of you, and I want you to listen very well. Okay, Your Highness. Kaima ceased to be my daughter. The very day he, she disobeyed me, walked out of this palace on her own volition. Without my prompting, I did not ask her to leave. It's not as if I did not know how to or where to find her. But I allowed her. I allowed her to go and take a decision I allowed her to go and follow her heart on one condition. That I will cease to be her father. Your Highness, please forgive her. She is only a child. Uh. When a child disobeys the parent, the, the, the parent can beat the child with one hand and then pet the child with the other hand. Please forgive her, please, Your Highness. Who are you? Who are you to talk to me on how to treat a stubborn child? No, 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 no. Your, your Highness, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, if you loved her that much, why didn't you source the money and pay? Pay the bill. Pay the hospital bill. Instead of coming here to disturb me. And you don't, you know, you don't have that right. I 
do not ever want to be disturbed. The text. By the way, what are you doing? I, I am the, the mother-in-law. Lotanna is my son. Your faithful servant. I see. Mm -hmm. I want to take two counts. By the end of the two counts, I want both of you out of this panel. I start counting now. One! There's none from me. I'm, I'm still in shock. I don't understand. He asked us to leave immediately. He realized Mama is your biological mother. Hi. I don't want anything to happen to her and my unborn child. What do we do now? Or say we? Did you just say we? How? Am I the one that got her pregnant? Are you the one that got her pregnant? I see we can call the alcohol. Mama, please, 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 Mama, please. There's no point abortioning blames right now. Let's just go and meet Onoowu Obidibo. He's the Igwe's right man hand. He, he, will, he, will, he, will, he will listen to him. I don't think he would listen to us, considering the controversy surrounding the pregnancy. No, 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 no. I, I think she's right. Meet the Onoowu. Onoowu can speak to the king to listen to him. I hate being in this type of situation. I hate being in this type of situation. Before you get pregnant, ask for approval. Mama, you, 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 so you ask for approval. Oh, oh. Mama, uh -huh. I think Olutona is right. I think he's right. You go and meet him. Go and meet Ono. What can I say? At least he will consider your age. age. Yeah? Okay. I think, I think you're right. Yeah, I, just, I, just try. I'll try. Try now, whichever way. Just let, you don't have okay, time. I will don't try. have time. I will try. I will try. I will try. I will try. Let me... Hey, Guma. Hello. This one, your free beginning days, was it? Oh, no. All is not well. All is not well at all. What happened? He's... It's about our princess, Princess Kaima. Huh? What happened to her? <laughs> She's in labor and about to give birth through cesarean oppression. The doctor said we should pay the sum of 650,000 naira before the operation will be carried out. That's an initial deposit of 350,000 naira must be paid before the operation will be done. And why did you choose to come to me instead of going straight to the palace to see? Oh, oh no, we have been there. We have been there, but the, 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 the king chased us away. He asked us never to come back again. Yes. Serious. Okay, have you been able to raise anything? Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing. That is why I'm here. Oh no, nothing. We don't have anything as I speak with you right now. Sorry. It's okay. Huh? If 650,000 naira. Is what is needed to save our life okay. and that of our baby. Then I have to go to the palace and see the king. Hey, but can I stand to busy? Hi. Hey. Hey. busy. Oh, no, no, thank you so much. No, no, no. Thank you. The thank you rise, so rise, rise. Thank you so much. May the ghost of our Lord bless you. May the ghost of our Lord bless just you. Rise first. Thank you. Hey. Um, oh, no, please, when you get to the palace, uh, I'm on the point that uh, life is involved here. Uh, two lives, as a matter of fact, two lives is involved. Please, please. I will say that I'm too busy. 
I will go because need to be easy. Okay. But then, are you trying to put words in my mouth? No, no, not at all. Oh. Not at all. Not at all. No, no, not at all. Don't not at all. Go handle the kid. Okay. Mm? Thank you very much. Go back and take care of her. All right. Hi! I, I, I have to be on my way now. It's okay. Thank you so much. It's okay. How is the team going to see? Igwe. Um, oh no. This one, you, <laughs> you are just coming in and uh, I'm all dressed and ready to go out. I, I hope all is well. All is not too well, Your Majesty. That is fire on the mountain. In fact, this is a matter of life and death. And this time around, two lives are involved. Serious. Which lives could that be? Your Majesty, your daughter, Princess Kaima. Kaima's pregnancy is getting more complicated. And now, as a matter of urgency, 650,000 Naira is required to carry out a CS on her to avoid losing her life and that of her child, your grandchild. <clears throat> oh no. Mm -hmm. You are one of the foremost custodians of customs and traditions of this community. Don't you understand? Oh, no. If you were not my right hand man, I would have accused you of conspiring with Kaima to escape from this palace. You were. Oh no. You've ridiculed yourself to a man messenger. If the young man who is responsible for Kaima's pregnancy is man enough, he would have been here himself. Now listen to me. You go tell him to go and see his father-in-law. Not as your majesty. Where are these boys? 